top of the morning or afternoon, close to the afternoon rather. Today's the 12th of September 2019. What we're we gonna do, we're gonna lab every day. Uh, today's lab brought to us by Boston. No, I'm not affiliated with Boston in any way, uh, except for the uh, fact that I do buy their products, which are relatively expensive, depending on what you consider expensive. One person, one, per, one person's expensive could be in another person's. That's not so much, but as long as you get a good ROI or return on investment, then uh, yeah, I guess it's worth what you uh, what you're investing. Okay, so today's lab, I'm going to configure the router. This task involves configuring the router so that the adjacent devices located in the same subnets can communicate. Let me repeat, this task involves configuring the three routers so that adjacent devices located in the subnets can communicate. And, uh, we have, uh, oh, keep the current color scheme, I'm sure this message again. Uh, configure router one with the appropriate host name, IP address, and submit mask. Refer to the IP address table. Enable the interfaces. Configure a clock rate of 64,000 kilobits per second. On zero 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 interface, the clock rate must be configured on router one because it is the, it is the DCE end link uh, to router four. So again, we're going to configure router one with the appropriate host name, IP addresses, and subnet mask. Refer to the IP address table. And what is, where is the IP address table? Uh, into the interfaces, configure the clock rate to 64,000 kilobits per second to 000. zero zero zero. Interface the clock rate must be configured on router one because it's the DCE end of the link to router four. A lot of times with uh, these configurations, it's um, helpful to read the what uh, is being asked to twice so it can uh, gain uh, full comprehension of what uh, the work that needs to be performed. performed. And router one. So we're on router one right now. So just to go over the net, the uh, topology. This is the topology. This is router one. And this is router one. And this is what you will see while you are connected to router one uh, via uh, USB to council cable. Correct. And hooked up to the router, and this is the uh, emulation. Well, this is the simulator that's going to emulate the router, rather. And again, the uh, software I'm using is uh, referred to as Boston, which is, I'm going to say, not to say, relatively inexpensive. So uh, right now I'm at the uh, configure terminal prompt. If I go back to the lab instructions. They want me to uh, configure router one with the appropriate host name. So to configure router not one as uh, with the host name of router one, I'm going to type in uh, host name and I'm going to type in router one. Hit enter, and now you can see that the name of the router changed from router to router one. Uh, IP addresses. So what are the IP addresses that should be in router one? Well, we're on fast Ethernet zero zero, we're at ten dot one dot one dot one. So uh, type an interface, right? Fast, uh, right? And you always use contact sensitive help. sleeps you hear a lot of sirens that's normal uh, okay so the interface uh, interface uh, fast Ethernet zero slash zero and let me uh, imply that fast Ethernet has a uh, hundred megabits per second 100 megabits per second or uh, 10 to the power of five I'm assuming Ah, now we are in interface sub configuration mode. 
and let me uh, let me just uh, uh, state that we're in interface sub uh, configuration mode but if I were to have entered that command in incorrectly in any way shape or form it would not the the simulation software would not have allowed me to enter into interface sub configuration mode so now uh, I'm going to put an IP address on this particular uh, interface hard coded IP address 10 by 1.1.1 we're set it master to alright so now using context sensitive help I use the question mark which is context sensitive help and it says uh, I have the option to put in an IP address and we see that by the format ABCD separated by dots and that is the IP sudden mass so we're going to put in the default sudden mass well not the default sudden mass but uh what is that a slash 24 in cider notation uh, I do not have any videos covering that. I'll get to it shortly. All right. IP address 10.1.1.1. Hard code that. And hit, uh, enter. Ah, and accepted it. And now I'm going to uh, actually bring that interface up because it is down by default. And I bring it up by putting in no shutdown. And as you can see right here it changed the state to up because as I stated before that that interface was down automatically now we changed it to up so now I'm going to configure serial zero zero by typing uh, interface serial zero slash zero and I'm going to hit enter ah now uh, I was able to accept that now we are going to uh, You know what? I just thought about something. Alright, let me go back one mode. Let me go back. Okay, now I'm at global configuration mode. Now I'm going to enter an interface serial 0 slash 0. Correct? And I'm going to enter. Now I'm in interface uh, sub configuration mode for the serial interface. And the serial interface is an interface that is on the router that is going to connect to the other router via, via serial port. Now that I have this serial interface, uh, I'm going to configure it with uh, the proper IP address by typing in ad IP address show that 5 that 10 dot 1 and typing in 255.255.255.0 uh, and I'm going to enter and it accepted it, so that's good. That's a good thing. Now that I accepted it, I'm gonna bring this interface up by typing in no shut, which is the same as no shut down, but it is the shorter version. I'm gonna hit enter. And we can see it changed the state to up. Um, and I believe I have to put clocking on this interface. The serial interface. Let me just double check. What are the uh, parameters of this configuration? Or the specifications, rather. Uh, IP address and sudden match refers to the IP address table. Configure the clock rate on zero, 00. Okay, so the clock rate command is clock space rate, and it's going to be 64,000 kilobits per second. I hit enter. Ah. Oh something's wrong okay and how do we know something's wrong by this particular uh, invalid input marking so perhaps I do not have to put a uh, comma but how would I know that because I well if I do it every day I get better at it why because practice makes perfect so I hit enter ah and it took it so apparently I was able to learn from my mistakes and realize that I'm not supposed to put a comma this is why it's imperative to lab every day. Clock rate 64,000. Uh, and now I'm going to bring it no shut again. Uh, change state to up. Change state to down. Uh, 
Okay, so we're shut. So next, what other interfaces do we have? As for the uh, instructions, all right, that's right on one, and uh, right on one. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna end my configuration terminal session, and I'm gonna go to uh, the enable mode. I'm gonna type in uh, copy running config. Right, uh, starter config. Uh, well, didn't take it. Well, so I was like in copy run start, and it cuts down on time. Copy run start. So, what are you doing? You're what am I doing? I'm taking the configuration from RAM and I'm putting it into non volatile RAM. Oh, uh, well, why am I doing that? Because start configuration files in non volatile RAM. So I'm going to copy run and config start config. That should be understandable. What's next? Now we're going to go to router 2. So go to the net map and go to router 2. So we can switch routers. Oh, building configuration. Okay. So that's router 1. Now we're at router 2. So now I hit enter. So now I'm going to get into, uh, I'm in the user mode. And I have to get in enable mode. How do I get into enable mode? I hit enable. Now I'm in router configuration. How do I get into router? Uh, now I'm in router configuration mode. Well, let me go back to the lab instructions. What do I have to do for router 2? I have to go to the fast ethernet interface of 0 slash 0. How do I get there? I type in configure terminal or config T. Now I'm in global configuration mode. How do I know? Because this uh, is indicated by this uh, right here. Right at the fig. Configure out to with the appropriate host name. So the new name is router right now, but I'm going to configure it with host name. So, uh, to remind my subscribers of the book of, chapter in the book of Matthew do not cast your pearls to the swine or do not give what is holy to the dogs do not cast your pearls to the swine ok fast ethernet 0 0 so now 1 not 1 and 2 uh, fast ethernet 0 0 uh, Okay, so it's uh, interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero. And enter and uh, uh, oh yes, IP address. My apologies. IP address 10.1.1.2 and we're going to default to the mass of 2 by 5 that's 2 by 5 that's 2 by 5 that's 2 by 0 and hit enter and no shut so I can bring the interface up and blow it up and that's what we have for router 2 now I'm going to go to router 3 oh and now uh, end and now we're in the enable mode. Why do we know what the enable mode? Because the hashtag right here. And we're gonna go copy one start so we can bring what is from RAM to start up config. Well, yeah, what is in running config, we have to go into start config. And we enter. And that's the one start config. The master! I got the head. You get? But then I'm willing here. And. Engineer here. Engineer. Same. Yes. Same, you. Keep, keep, yeah. I'm a programmer. 
I'm going a router right now. Very interesting. What are you doing? I will, I will upload this video to YouTube in uh, two minutes. You're hitting a router? Yes, yes. You're doing what with it? No, no, no. This is simulation. Simulation? Yes, yes, yes. Please. So what are you doing? My name is William. Uh, William. Uh, so now this is router 2. And configure router 2 with the appropriate host name, IP address. And so that mass refer to the IP address table, enable the interface. Uh, oh, so enable the in interface. That. Configure router 4 with the appropriate host name, IP address, and subject mass refer to the address table, enable the interface. So router 4. So we go here and click on router 4. And now this is router 4. Press enter to start. You go here, you enter. And now this is user mode. Now we have to get into enable mode. We type enable. Now we're in enable mode, you know, because of the hashtag. Now we go to uh, configuration mode. All right. Configure terminal. Now we are in global configuration mode. And to configure it with the host name of router 4, the uh, command would be host name router 4. And now we're in host name router 4. Are you creating a network? Yes, well, essentially this will be the network, but it is a simulation network, yeah. and I have to practice every day because if I crash a live network, I make the company look bad. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you work? Oh, uh, looking for a job. Looking for a job, always looking, every minute. Oh, this is good practice. Yes, yes. Uh, so the, that is configure router four with the appropriate host name, IP address, the subnet mask, refer to the IP address table, enable the interface. So what are the parameters of router four? Uh, we have a zero, into zero, zero, zero. So configure terminal. So you have interface, interface serial, zero, uh, zero slash. Can you see zero slash zero? And you hit enter. Yes, and it took it. Now, if this, uh, if it were not to have taken it, it would have not. Uh, I would not have been able to progress to. Interface sub configuration mode. Let, let me go back a bit, right? Okay. You're doing this. So my I learned coding. Right? Okay. Very different from this. I, I'm rec I'm going to upload this to my channel. I have a channel. I'm a, I'm look I'm uploading it right now. I'm using the uh, OBS. I just want okay. to be aware. You're OBS. Recording the video? Yes, yes, yes. But it's only C's. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Where is this stuff? No, no audio. There go. What's that? No audio. Yes, yes, it is audio. Yes, I'm recording my voice. Yes, nice. yes. I want to let you be aware. No, it's fine. Okay, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Uh, two five five, two five five, two five five. I have to stay busy. I have to be capitalistic. Uh, work, look for work. Want to work? Think about work. You know. Uh, IP address twelve five ten two. Uh, okay, so enter. Now it took it. Now I have to bring the interface up because uh, I created it and I have to bring it up because automatically it is in the default shutdown state. So I put no shutdown and hit enter. Now I hit enter, I change it to up. And I change it to up and this is router four. Uh, IP address, I put a subnet mask. Uh, and, and I enabled the interface. Now I have to go back to router one. Verify that you can ping the directly connected. Oh, oh wait! I have to actually uh, type copy run start. Why? Because I have to put what is in running configuration into startup configuration, and startup configuration is stored in uh, non-volatile RAM. So copy copy run start and hit uh, like enter. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep doing it. Thank you. Thank. Yeah. Email me. Email me. I will. Yes, please. I am on router 4. Attempt to ping the fast Ethernet 00 interface at router 2. The ping uh, should not be successful. Alright, so now a router 1 to verify that you can be directly connected to uh, connected neighbors 10.1.1.1. Ping, alright. Alright, I want to verify that you can ping the directly connected neighbors. 
So now I'm having final one and ten up. One go, one go. Ping ten up, one one two. So now I'm trying to ping and twelve dot two dot five dot two. So I'm gonna ping. I'm out of one and I am successful. Why? Because my success rate is hundred percent. Uh, round trip one two four milliseconds. Either miller or microseconds. One and two. I forgot which one it is. And now I'm gonna ride a one and now I'm gonna ping twelve dot five dot ten dot two. I'm gonna ping. Uh, and I was successful as that with that as well. So now I'm on step four. Now I go to step five. Round four attempt to ping the fastest thing that zero zero indication round two. This sh the ping should not be successful. I'm out of four. Uh, I sorry. I had to, they want me to ping from round four to round two. So now I'm pinging from round four to round two, and it's saying I should not be successful. Well, let's see. Let's go to four. And they want me to ping. Oh, wait, yeah, okay. Ping. Uh, they want me to ping a fast ethernet interface from router 2. Uh, okay, and it should not be successful. And in true indeed. Proverbs 12:18. The liquid of truth shall be established forever. A lying tongue is only for one moment. It was not successful. So now we're going on number six. On router two, attempt to ping zero zero interface on router four. So now they want me to go to router two. This ping should not be successful. Okay, so router two. Router two. They want me to ping the uh, fast Ethernet interface on router four. And they're saying the ping should not be successful. So let's go to router two. And let's ping. Uh, Faster than interface on router four. And the ping should be 12.5.10.2. The ping should not be successful. Ah. And indeed, true indeed. Proverbs 12, 19, the lip of the truth shall be established forever. A lying tongue is only for one moment. The ping was not successful. Why did the ping from router 4 to router 2 and router 2 to router 4 fail? So this is what takes deep thought or analytical thinking. Why do they, um, or perhaps they're not, uh, those routes are not in the routing table. I'm just going to say not to say make an ass out of myself by assuming that those particular routes are not in the routing table so if they're not in the routing table if you ping them they're not going to be successful I mean to me it makes sense to you it may not make sense let's see why uh, configure and verify static routes this task involves establishing route, uh, static routes so this is the uh, oh wow configure and verify static routes bingo because the route was not in the routing table. So now, they, now I'm going to configure and verify static routes. Task models establishing. Okay, so um, I finished task one, task one of this particular lab. And uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll, I'll continue with, ta uh, with uh, task two. I'm not going to give you everything. You know? Like, uh, like the, the big homie, Fat Joe says, solo un ching, just a little, you know, uh, a song all the way up. I believe it's Fat Joe, Remy Martin, and uh, Jay-Z, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Fat Joe uh, makes the statement, uh, solo un ching, like, you know, just a little bit. It's Dominican slang. I don't want to digress, but uh, hey, check that song out. Uh, some of the uh, pioneers of hip-hop. But with that being said, uh, I got to go and... Uh, I was, hey, you can't knock the hustle, right? 
Okay, uh, I hope this has been informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing. And uh, I guess uh, that is all for today. Adios.